All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrakhakwadash, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles. And the elders of great millstone who rule and teach you all in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. And who you see on screen is a former scoffer of ours out here in GMS Chicago. And this scoffer was around for about two years, maybe three. Can't remember how long, but it, it, it was a, a, you know, a decent amount of time. All right, and what this guy used to do while we were teaching is not even exaggerating. The second he saw us, he would just be shouting, you know, screaming random things. Okay, from the second he got there to the second we ended. Okay, and pretty much he would, you know, mock us, laugh at us, entice us to fight. He would also try to get the crowd that would be bias, all right, to come against us, all right? You know, whether they be people who were actually listening or whether they were just bypassing, you know? And after, you know, years... Oh, then I, I want to add this in here. What's so demonic about him was is after we would finish camp, and this is um, when we started breaking off to several camps out here in Chicago. What he would do is, after we would, you know, break off, uh, or after we would finish camp and return to the main camp, the main site, this guy would stop all the shouting, the screaming, all right, the singing, and actually follow us and talk to us normal, as if nothing happened. And, you know... You know, for years we would tell him, like, look, the Lord's going to jack you up. The Lord's going to jack you up. He's going to deal with you. You better repent and stop doing what you're doing. All right? And eventually the Lord started slowly, you know, taking this guy's health away. In particular, all right, the usage of his, you know, uh, uh, legs. Okay? And what happened to this guy is he actually became homeless. He started balding in his head. He started getting, uh, um, he was, since he was homeless, he became really dirty. He started getting sick. Then his leg, um, I don't know what happened to it, whether it, you know, he got some type of disease or whether he broke it, he got infected, he couldn't, you know, use it. Next thing you know, this guy's in a wheelchair, right? And I haven't seen this guy in a few years, but this photo is actually recent. Uh, uh, the elder Southside uh, Mike out here in uh, uh, Chicago just took this photo while he was out there in downtown. And look at him. He's absolutely through. He's homeless and he's sleeping in a wheelchair now. And you see, this is what happens when you, you know, disrupt this word from coming out. When you're a scoffer, a mocker, you know, when, when you're trying to uh, cause harm to the prophets, this is what happens. All right. And you see, I'll say this. We, you know, as men of the Lord, we don't have to uh, 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 lay hands on anybody. Remember that, brothers. Yeah, how about Shema al Shah would do much worse to these individual uh, individuals out here that come up against us? OK, and this guy's a prime example. OK, a prime example. You know, remember, this is a spiritual war warfare. This is not a carnal warfare, all right? Let the Lord fight for us, you see? But let me get a couple scriptures out, uh, you know, relating to this topic here. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, and it reads, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, all right? And Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, wasn't uh, 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 mocked. Clearly. The Lord jacked this dude up. 
And he's allowing him to survive, you know, so he can uh, uh, suffer all the chaos that's, you know, uh, um, you know, fast approaching. This guy's going to have a terrible judgment. And we've been, we were telling him that for, like I said, for years. Because he would, like I said, th th this guy was, um, I would say he wasn't a, a, a weekly scoffer. But anytime he saw us, anytime he bumped into us, he made sure to cause havoc. You know, to cause chaos. To d disrupt his word from coming out. You know, and we saw him quite often. You know, enough where he, you know, this guy's considered a regular scoffer out here in, in, in Chicago. Or was a regular scoffer. You know? And this is beautiful what the Lord is doing to him. Because he had his warnings. He did. It's not like we didn't tell him these things weren't going to happen. And best believe this guy, you know, he's still proud. So the Lord's jacking him up, man. You know, maybe if he repented and humbled down, maybe the Lord will, you know, help his situation out. But clearly he 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 hasn't. So this is why he's in this condition. All right. But let me get a few more scriptures. I think there was one in uh, Sirach 19 that I wanted to get. Oh, I'll get this one. This is Sirach 27 and 28. Mockery and reproach are from the proud, but vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. And you see, you got to remember when a lion hunts, they don't necessarily run out and get their prey immediately. They'll stalk their prey. And that's what basically the Lord has done to this guy. He st uh, stalked him, you know, waited for the perfect uh, 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 situation to jack him up. And now he's in this condition. You know, see all this mocking and re reproaching got him in this predicament. And like I said, good, good for him. He deserves it. You know, I've been in many, you know, camp sessions with this guy, you know, bugging out. Like I said, singing, screaming, shouting, trying to fight us, trying to get the crowd to fight us. Many of times. And I would have to read over this guy, you, uh, you know. Numerous times. You know? Had, had, had to sit there and, and hold my peace. And not get carnal with him. But you know, that taught us a lesson. You know, one that, that hey, we have to remain spiritual. And, and two, to let the Lord fight our battles. All right, and three, the, the, to teach us, you know, about suffering and about, and, and about being patient. See, the Lord got this guy eventually. No one, uh, no one, uh, you know, uh, uh, escapes you. How about Shimei Shai? Okay. Let me get uh, uh, two more precepts. I think this was Proverbs 19. Give me a moment. me one second. Uh, Proverbs. Yep, right here. Proverbs 19 and 29. And it reads here. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. You see, these judgments were prepared for a, a scorner like him. And it's a beautiful thing, like I said. To see this guy go from, you know, being healthy, you know, ha ha having a, a, a good gear. Because this guy used to uh, dress uh, pretty well from what I can remember. You know, probably had his own spot. To now being a bum and a cripple on the streets. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, man. Call Loim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The water, uh, 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 see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For uh, uh, punishing this damn demon, man. I wish I could find old clips, but you know, you, you know, you know how it is. You YouTube and Esau, you know Esau deleted a lot of our uh, uh, um, you know camp pages, so that footage is you know gone, man. 
But if I could, you know, show you guys, you know, footage of this guy, you, you would understand how demonic he was. This guy was a straight asshole, man. Just a goddamn asshole. You know? So this is good for him. But let me get this last scripture. I'm going to end it, uh, end this lesson off. This is, uh, Second Chronicles 36. I'll start at 15. And the Lord Yahweh, the power of their father, sent to them by his messengers, the prophets, okay? Rising up betimes, meaning early, and sending, because he had compassion on all his people and on his dwelling place. And the Lord sends us out because he loves his people. We're, we're out there to teach our people what's right, what's wrong, how to please the Lord properly so you can get salvation, so you can get you know, protection you know, when these evil days come. But what do, what do our people do? But they mock the messengers of the Most High. Like I said, this guy, he used to uh, uh, you know, make fun of us. You know, he, he used to try to fight us. Get people to fight us, you see? But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. Despise his words. Like I said, this guy would be creating, you know, a, a havoc for two hours straight. Three hours straight. It's ultimately because he didn't, he, he, he hated his word. And misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. And you see a guy like this. He's going to remember all the BS that he did. Because he's been there, you know, like I said, a lot of times. And he's heard us talk about the destruction of this place. So when this stuff really starts hitting, and he starts seeing, you know, what's happening, he's going to remember all the BS that he did. And he's going to regret it. Then he's going to try to get right, but it's going to be too late. You know, he should have gotten right when uh, uh, we were out there teaching. You know? But, um, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, it was just something that um, I wanted to do a quick lesson on because uh, the elder Southside, he uh, just posted a photo of this guy. And um, it took me back to memory lane, you know. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, share this with you, you know, brothers and sisters that, you know, basically our enemies, they do get punished at some point. Best believe you know, it's only, hey, look, remember, uh, <laughs> even though it was a fallout, but this was a heavy statement that he used to say, that um, there, this fall used to say a, a lot when, we, when he was teaching that these people are living on borrowed time. That's a heavy statement because that's the truth. These people are living on borrowed time, you know. Eventually their card is going to get pulled and they're going to have to deal with their judgment, all right. And with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.